Ooh. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow! It has such a weird long nose. Oh. That's not just a nose, it's a trunk. <laughs> Want to learn more about it? Let knowledge click. An elephant's oh. trunk is like a long nose slash hand that helps it live more easily. Instead of bones, it's packed with thousands of muscles and tendons, making it super strong and very flexible. With its trunk, an elephant can drink water, smell, and even give itself a bath. A long trunk also helps it reach food up high or down low easily. Oh. Comparing oh. to humans, an elephant's trunk is like an arm, oh. a vacuum cleaner, oh. and a straw oh. all in one. Oh. <laughs> so if it didn't have its trunk, that would be really bad, right? With such a big body, oh. life would be super tricky for oh. an elephant without that long trunk. It would struggle to compete for food with other animals and have a hard time finding enough to eat. Wow! Turns out an elephant's trunk has so many uses! Mm. Now I've got a question for you. Can you guess how many kilos an adult elephant's trunk can lift? Uh oh. Mm. I guess 50 kilos! <laughs> Depending on its size, oh. an adult elephant's trunk can lift anywhere from 200 to 400 kilos. Wow. <laughs> That's all for oh. now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Wow. <laughs> This is a Stegosaurus. Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is a Diplodocus. And do you know what it is? Huh? Hmm. We don't know. Why have we never seen one? Dinosaurs oh. went extinct 66 million years ago. Do you want to know what happened to them? <laughs> Let knowledge play. Long ago. Dinosaurs live all over the earth. Some were big, some were small. They walked around, hunted, or ate plants in the world full of trees, volcanoes, and big oceans. But then, something terrible happened. A giant asteroid from space crashed into the earth. A big rock from space hit the earth and make lots of dust that cover the sky. It caused earthquakes, giant waves, and volcanoes to erupt. Everything changed suddenly. With the sun blocked, plants couldn't grow. Without plants, the plant-eating dinosaur had no food. Then, the meat-eating dinosaurs didn't have food either, so they disappeared too. But not all of them disappeared. Scientists believe some small dinosaurs that survive change over time and become the birds you see today. So, birds are actually relatives of dinosaurs? You can say that. Do you know why bats sleep this way? Let knowledge click! Why most animals go to sleep at night? Bats come out to find food. And during the day, they sleep instead. Bats usually sleep in groups, huddle together in dark, quiet spots. But why do they have to sleep upside down like that, Professor Hoot? 
It's because their back legs are quite weak, so they can't land on their feet like birds do. Also, bats can launch into the air from the ground, so sleeping this way lets them fly away instantly. This comes out handy in case of danger. Hanging up high also keeps them safe from other animals. And since they don't need to share perches with birds or other animals, they always have a spot to rest. But how can bats hang on so tightly without falling? Their muscles are designed so that the more oh. they relax, the tighter their claws hold on. <laughs> What are we going to do with it now? If a bath is in your house, don't touch it. Just open a window and let it fly out safely. I got it! Oh. Wufu, come have some juice. <laughs> huh? Oh! 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 Mommy! Ooh. That little squirrel has swollen cheeks! Let's take him to the vet! <laughs> These are just eight cheek pals, Wufu. Hmm. Do you know why that squirrel huh? has such big cheeks? <laughs> Let knowledge click! Squirrels are small rodent that live in trees all around the world. From deep forests to city park and even backyards. Yeah. They love to eat nuts, fruits, young shoots, and sometimes even mushrooms or tiny insects. Squirrels have special cheek pouches on both sides that can stretch to hold acorns, walnuts, pine nuts, and more. Thanks to this, Squirrels can carry food back to their nets faster instead of carrying one nerd at a time. This way, when winter comes, the weather is harsh. They still have plenty of food to eat. Come to think of it, Casper's hamster can also stuff food into hmm. its cheek pouches, right, Professor? Yes. Some rodents, like hamsters, have them too for storing food. Hamster cheeks stretch to their shoulder, letting them carry nearly twice the body weight in seeds. Meanwhile, squirrel monkeys also have cheek pouches, but they used to hold food for a while when they need to run away from danger. Oh, then they can sit down and eat it slowly later. Hmm. So, stretchy cheeks aren't just cute. They're actually a super smart survival trick in nature. Squirrels stuff food in their cheeks without chewing right away. But people have to chew slowly. Don't feel your mouth or you might choke. I got it! I wish I had a pet unicorn! Your wish is really cute, but sadly, it's very hard to make it come true. <laughs> Kids, do you know if unicorns are real or not? <laughs> Let knowledge click! Unicorns have been around in stories for thousands of years. Back in Middle Ages, Unicorns were described as white horses with one long horn on their forehead. This idea came from some Greek explorers who traveled to the east and heard tales about sad creatures. But the explorers only heard stories or saw strange animals and thought huh? they were unicorns. Uh, so what really were they, Professor Hoot? <laughs> hmm. Many historians believe they might have mistaken an Indian one-horned rhinosaurus to a white horse with one horn. 
Or maybe they saw the Aris with two long stray horns. When viewed from the side, it looked just like one horn. Oh. Wow! It really looks like it only has one horn! Even the long oh. tooth of the Nawa mm. whale from the Arctic was one so it's a unicorn horn. The Greek scholar weren't the only one to hmm. make this mistake. In his book, the explorer Marco Polo also confused the one-horned rhinosaurus with the unicorn. Yuck! This unicorn is so dirty! Over time, the unicorn story changed into magical legend in many countries. In China, the unicorn looked like a deer with a dragon scales, sometimes even with flames. <laughs> Up to now, there's no proof that unicorns are real. Unicorns aren't real, but their image was born from people's imagination and funny mix-ups. <laughs> I got it now! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!